to zip your own. And I'm going to go to my rainbow house and I'm going to read a book. Man. Ready to read? I am my yes. Yeah, Mrs. Hopper's house. A sweet tears day. Valley's day was coming. Harry and his big dog Marcus loved Valley's day because of the candy. They liked the little candy heart. That's it. Girls swallowed. Yeah, no dear. And things like that. Something like what? Harry read the world. And Marcus licks them up. They were a good team. On the Valentine! Harry father and Harry mother were going to a weird hot day. Harry and Margaret would be sailing with Mrs. Hopper. Hopper. Mr. Hopper lived across the street in a Big stone house with rocky trees and dark window and a curry on the door. How do you like Mrs. Hopper? But he did not like her, her hat. Are you sure, Marcus, that I can't come to the sea park dance? Harry asked his father. Only if you both promise to wear a extra wear shiny black shoes and a whistle to the blue dumb dimby, says say Harry's father. Harry looked at Marcus and cried to imagine him in extra and shiny black shoes whistling to the boot dumpy. I think we better go to Mrs. Hopper's. Harry said. Good idea, said Harry's father, because Marcus only know how to tap dance. Harry said with a scream. Mrs. Hopper on Valentine's night. Harry parents go all dressed up. Harry, no, look at them. Wow, he said. I bet you didn't know I was this handsome, say Harry Dad. I say Harry Mother, giving him a kiss, uh, too much. Too much smush stuff. Harry said to Muggers, Let's go to Mrs. Hopper's house. Quick! Quick, 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 qu
at Mrs. Hopper's house, but good luck, Gary, on your friend. Harry, the kid goes, he doesn't scare you. Muggins, Harry says. When Mrs. Hopper opened the door, she had a violin in her hand. She smiled at Harry. She put she packed muggins. She said goodbye to Harry Parrot. And Harry and Marcus went inside. Mrs. Hopper had before. This was like a castle. There were big candles and tall uh, painting and a grand foot and a grand piano. And luckily for Marcus Cat everywhere. Mrs. Hopper asked Harry, Eleven. Say, Mrs. Hopper, Oh, girl. Marcus looked at the cat and wiggled. Marcus loved cat. Harry told Mrs. Hopper, Harry, Mrs. Hopper pet Marcus again. Marcus loves everything, she said. Harry smiled. Mrs. Hopper has wasn't bad. It was wonderful. Maybe his parents would dance all night long. Mr. Hopper wasn't like anyone. Harry had never met. She played the violin for him. She served. He served him tea. She told him about her father, who had been a Famous actor. She was very kind to Marcus. She she cooked him a bar of hot meal. And give him his own loaf of French, fresh French bread. After the tea and music and art meal, Mrs. Harper took them upstairs. She opened a room that had been her father. Has been her. She opened a room that had been her father. Has been her father's. Wow.
say, Harry. The room was full of costumes. There were thick capes and tall hats and shiny clothes. There were canes and doors and umbrellas. There were wigs. Form I will go your Mrs. Hopper put a wig on Marcus. You look like a lupo, Marcus. Say Harry, Marcus wiggle and wiggle. Harry and Marcus and Mrs. Hopper spent most of the evening in the costume room. They had a wonderful time. When Harry Potter came back from the den, were they very surprised? Marcus was a polo, and Harry was a man. Harry was a textile and a hat and shiny black shoes. You didn't know I was the handsome Harry told his dad, and everyone laughed and laughed. And this is the end of the video with the world go. You have to like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell too.